What is up, Vintage Family? Welcome to our brand new Vintage Podcast. Currently, the working title is Goondocks Vintage Podcast because we are here in Astoria, Oregon, the home of the Goonies. Um, and a bunch of other rad movies that you all probably want t-shirts for. So, yeah, yes. we're uh, doing this little podcast. We're starting off. This is episode numero uno. Without further ado, let's introduce ourselves. So, my name is Jacob, as above, so chulo on Instagram and pretty much everything else. My name <laughs> is Eric, a.k.a. the vintage underscore drip junkie on Instagram. On YouTube, I am vintage space drip junkie. But uh, yeah, this is the pilot episode. We're kicking it off. It's pretty dope. We're starting this new thing. So the shirts that we're wearing today, I'm wearing the 92 Bulls Finals Super Distress. Nice paint splatters all over it. I like this beat up, old beat up vintage look. Fire. But uh, yeah, I had to rock that one time for the one time. And you good, sir. Mm, I am wearing good old King Diamond. My favorite black metal singer, Abigail. You know, the classics, the goodies. If you guys don't know, that graphic is absolutely yes. sick Look at this, right there. That scary demon face. That is, and I'm telling you, post that during Halloween. Be Ooh, that sick. is sick. Ooh. What year is that, by the way? Um, it doesn't have a date on it. So, so I mean, they were their heyday was... Was it like 2000s? Early 2000s? Or is that no, like they, I mean, he's, they're old. This is probably like late 90s, I would say. Oh, okay. Right on. Just going from the tag, because I think it's made in Honduras, which would put it like 97, early 2000s, yeah. which is like after the NAFTA. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know all about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. We know all about that trading and merchantiles, you know. Yes, so, government politics yeah. and all these things. <laughs> government that's politics. Really, that's a good thing. I yeah. mean, if you guys yeah. know that at a certain point, things stop being made in America. It is it is good to know, honestly, when you're collecting shirts. Yeah. It's good to know where your shit's yeah, going. You don't have to you don't always have to look up every tag because you can kinda of be like, okay, well it's not made in China, so it's not super current. And it's made in like Honduras, Mexico or Haiti, some places like that in those regions it's probably gonna be probably gonna be <laughs> relatively vintage at this point now that we're in twenty twenty one. Right. Because two thousand is vintage. Two thousand one. So um, the news this week, or within the last, I think, couple weeks, is that uh, Instagram in the U.S. started doing four-way lives. So now you can bring in not just one other person. You can now bring in four. Yeah, it's a cluster. That sounds crazy. It, I don't understand it. It, it confuses crazy. me. So what people have been doing now is they will bring on three people so the host obviously brings on three people and now they're doing this thing it's i guess what they're calling it is a blind auction so people will just see the four people that are on there know their names or whatever just know of them and they will do a blind bid oh my goodness yeah it's a little bit crazy people are just all the stimmy money and they're just like <laughs> they're willing to just drop like they get I, don't, I don't even care i got my stimmy i'm just really i'm just gonna get that stimmy time to blow it yeah time to blindly but so they so they bid they bid up it's like a normal auction they run down the time <laughs> When it's over, they will choose one person to show their either bundle or one major grail worth, you know, however much to give you. I've seen them go low, like 120, 150, and then all the way up to now, setting record, $5,000 on a four-way blind live, oh, which is absolutely $5,000. Ridiculous. I mean, that's sweet, but that's crazy. It's crazy. It is crazy. But... The time will run down, they will choose one person. If they don't like that bundle, if they like it, they will give them a W, which is a win. If they don't like it, they will give it an L. Then they will pass it on to, they will choose one other person that's on there, show their bundle, and then if they don't like it, um, you know, it's an L or a dub, if they do like it. But the thing is, is I've seen the rules also change depending on whose live it is. Some people will do, um, you know, only two, and then if you don't like that, two then L's, you, then you're, yeah, if you you could do two L's and then you're done, and then you you're not even obligated to pay. Or um, I've seen people that will just keep going. Mm -hmm. I've even seen uh, so actually yeah. So I watched one go up to two point three thousand dollars. They had all L's. Then the host brought on three more people 
that showed all their stuff and then it's not like they got an L2 it took 45 minutes plus I think it was like yeah it was literally it was like 45 minutes maybe even an hour but they got it all done with that and then the they were like is this person still even in here <laughs> <laughs> the person was done commenting and they just like unpinned the bid and then they went on to the next one they just ran the next auction but eventually later on that night yeah they set the record five thousand dollars on a blind auction that's crazy that blows my mind i don't i don't get it i mean i get it now i mean i wonder if there was like if this was something that someone pulled from like right other auctions like do they do this at other auction houses for other that's a good types question. of things you know because um, that seems so weird like you like you know how they have like auctions like for like farm shit right you know I I I I one. <laughs> yeah exactly like, but is yeah. there a one that they auction do house. Yeah. where they do like blind auctions like that or is this someone's weird idea honestly i don't think anywhere else would do blind auctions like when someone's trying to sell and make money I think they would want to know, you yeah, know we, obviously what product they're buying. Exactly. So what's the? I guess that's the thing. Is it feels like it must just be a way to like differentiate or try to differentiate. You know, because oh yeah, it it doesn't seem like there's any more like benefit than to just like auction it one T-shirt at a time. You know, my, unless it's just opinion. strictly bundles. Um, oh, yeah, no, it's not. It's not just bundles because they could just do like one major, major T-shirt. T-shirt. Depending on the price, of course. Okay. Like when it's five grand, they probably I think they threw in like quite a few teeth. It's not just like one. It's not key. just one. And when it was two point three, I watched one guy try to do thirty teas. Like literally, it took like it took so long for this Damn. dude to get through, and he just kept showing bundle. stuff. Look at this Kobe and all this, and everybody was like L L L. It was crazy. People were dogging on him so bad. Damn. I felt bad because it's like, oh my god, it's like this guy's like he's putting out all this. He's like saying that he's gonna ship all this stuff. Like it would cost like a hundred dollars or no, nah, it would probably cost like a good, you know. 40 bucks maybe to ship all that yeah 30 t-shirts you know and like yeah. a hat and some other stuff like that's a lot of product you know what i mean but it was like more of like a reseller type deal it was yeah. all kind of like they said it was like all bulk. mids which okay. is funny because like kobe t is like after he passed crazy value mm -hmm. you know Pending. but yeah it was, it was it was crazy for sure to say the least it was crazy that's wild i mean but, I uh, yeah 5k i mean yeah it's nuts but the thing is is like honestly my opinion is that um, when they're doing stuff like that and then like there was that one situation where the, the bidder just like wasn't in the live anymore or whatever they just like stopped watching they uh -huh. dipped out and like that's a big waste of time you know what I mean if it's just a one on one uh, live the person's obviously they're gonna have a set yeah with like you know a bunch more teas they're gonna sell more that's and, you and the go... person can see what they're buying you know what I mean and then because sometimes I feel like it's more profitable to do it that way anyways yeah. because say you have a, a vibe of like 300 people right and you're showing individual tees you have 300 chances or whatever yeah. that someone's gonna want that one tee but right. when you make it like a 30 tee bundle or like a 10 tee bundle and you're like i don't know it just doesn't make sense i, agree it, I mean it you, makes yeah. like i get the concept yeah. but when it's like the, the i think i really think they were just like how do we get other people to come to our live right so let's make up this uh, well, it's, uh, it's like a spiel or not spiel uh, uh uh, yeah, I got a, a gimmick. A gimmick. Yeah. It's called a gimmick. It's like putting uh, crazy, stupid things on skateboards, like uh, the things that make sparks on skateboards and stuff like that. It's a gimmick. Like yeah, back in the yeah. day, they talk all about eighty skateboard gimmicks. That's a little trick. Yeah, yeah. just to sell more. Well, yeah, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. I was gonna say oh, something about uh, about uh, you know, being. Oh yeah. So the thing is, is it's gonna. I think. Like when people do that and they're gonna run up the bids like super high, it's gonna be a big amount. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is those four people are also they're kind of competing to be chosen for that amount of money. You know what I mean? So they're yeah. kind of more likely to give a deal. But at the same time, I've seen some where it was like kind of a rip off. I don't know. Not really too bad of a rip off, but like if it's like equal value, obviously like a lot of people don't want to buy it because then they can't like you know say sell it and then make any hmm. money on top yeah. you know what I mean if that's what they're into that's if they crazy. actually like the tea and they personally want it or teas then yeah. they would obviously grab it but. that's wild so there's just there's just a whole bunch of people who just really don't even go to the thrifts or in the trenches at all huh 
Yeah. That's crazy. There's some people that just don't. They yeah. just buy it wholesale. I think, I mean, there's quite a few pages that I could mention that honestly just don't put in a lot of work like that. A lot of them do just online source, which I mean, there's really nothing wrong with that when you have the money to do yeah. so, I guess. But like, I, I guess like their margins must be, they must, I don't know. Well, I mean, and the thing is, they don't call themselves thrifters, you know yeah. what I mean? I don't know. I, I, I feel like the, the best and most satisfying thing for me is definitely pulling a sick tea mm -hmm, yeah. out in the trenches or in the bins. Yeah, you know? like I'm a, I'm a, is frugal the right word? Like I like nice things, I like expensive things, but like I like to make money. And I like it all, <laughs> like I'm a, I feel like I'm a well-rounded vintage head because I like vintage clothing, but I also like to make money and it kind of balances it out, you know? So I'm not like overly collecting stuff I do have some stuff that I just like, you know, especially when it comes to like true vintage. Yeah. But like, I don't know. Yeah, and being that this is the pilot podcast, you know, the very first one, obviously we kind of thought he actually came to me with the idea, I believe. But um, we basically had clicked up and gotten into it. And the cool part is, is that we kind of have a, a bit of a different style. Mm. Uh, he is, yeah, more. you're more into the true vintage. I love metal t-shirts. I would like to yeah. grow my collection. I only have we're, a few. We're both Nike fans. Yeah, Nike. Um, oh, and you do have Supreme as well. Yeah, I like... I do have a little bit of Supreme, but we don't want to mention that. These vintage heads are going to get mad at us. But no, no, I like Supreme. <laughs> Dude, Supreme's are... You great. hype beasts? All these hype yeah. beasts coming in? People are super crazy about um, hype beasts getting into vintage for some odd reason. I don't know. Like, they're going to affect the price but yeah, the thing I mean, is is we've seen the rise of you know six grand genie and then now we're living in pg yeah yeah post genie post genie <laughs> post genie yeah yeah so and a, recently and i've genie. been seeing disney tees are kind of starting to go back down a yeah bit. So I think it's I think every what what happened was that everybody saw that Disney tees were popping, mm -hmm. so then everybody was grabbing them. Cause I used to not grab them, and then I started grabbing them more. Yeah, I grabbed some. And was they were it really like, cool? Was it maybe all? The, and the funny thing is, I'm talking about this like a Tarzan tee right behind my head, but, but that's sick. <laughs> it is sick. It's a sick shirt. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of the movie, and mm -hmm. obviously Phil Collins. I mean, that score, you know, mm -hmm. that soundtrack or whatever. It was a good movie, Disney movie all around. And I do have a couple more uh, Disney pieces, I think. But, um, yeah, the thing is, I think a lot of people were getting that unemployment, too. Oh, you know yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that extra... And stimuluses. I can't and remember extra, how, how much extra it's, was it. it was extra like, 300. Extra. <laughs> so they are probably getting somewhere around like 700, See, yeah. depending on what they were making up before. It just blows me away. It's, it's That was so much money, and like people were obviously getting so much money, and that was when lives were really jumping off. Oh, at the beginning of like yeah. the... Well, it was after like the initial hit of COVID, because at first everyone was like worried, you know, and then... Oh, I was scared. 1980 something co came up with that idea. Lie. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah, I was I stopped, freaked out. I stopped smoking pot because I I was getting panic attacks. Like I'm not sure if it was just stress or what, but yeah, I quit. Yeah, we talked about that a minute ago. Yeah, yeah. I, I fucking lost it. I could not. I cannot. And still, I don't, I don't think I want to really pick it up again. I mean, yeah, I was smoking a bunch of pot, but yeah. yeah. Anyways, yeah. Um, the next but, kind of topic that I wrote down was you know, risky friends mm. and family PayPal payments. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Stop, no. people. A lot of people are getting took right now. A lot of people are getting scammed. I've seen it. I actually just saw it last night. And that's why it actually was brought up as a topic on this podcast was because I am seeing people getting took for money. So this guy had contacted this page. Uh, it was an anime page that was pretty, uh, you know, they're a part of the vintage community, you know mm. what I mean? They're not huge. I don't think they have over like 10K or whatever. Uh -huh. But the person had selected like six tees that they have been sitting on. And it was like way too good to be true. After like, after I had, you know, initially like heard it and the person like made this video post. But then like I saw the tees that this person was selling. And it's like, obviously it's like, dude, you're not going to pay a thousand dollars for all this. It was like an Akira. Yeah. It was like... Uh, I think it was a Cowboy Bebop or something like that. Like, it was like crazy, a bunch of crazy shirts. But an Akira was in there. So it's like, it was way overvalued. 
but yeah, and then sent a friends and family payment, and then just the person just never got the teas. I think they ended up getting the money back. Hmm. But the thing is, like, when it's over a grand. Um, like that's a felony right there, you know what oh, I mean? Oh shit, yeah. But the thing is, is when hey. you're sending it on PayPal friends and fam, that is you signing away your money. Yeah, I. that's just risky. I think because that's been happening in like the sneaker and the streetwear world for a long time. I've known not to do that. <laughs> you know, I don't know, that's like, because I've been on Grailed. Have I'm you still, ever been scammed? No, I've never been scammed. You've never been scammed? Not in this world. <laughs> uh, not, not in the vintage not in this world. world. Not in any other world as well. Yeah, no. In no, the no. many dimensions. In the many mean, dimensions, yeah. That's crazy, yo. Yeah, You've I, never been scammed. I actually got took for, uh, I can't remember, Concords? Oh, shit. No. I can't remember what they were. Yeah, I... Uh, but I got scammed for like 150 bucks. Damn. And that was the last time it happened, though. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, I just, I'm very cautious. I don't yeah. really buy anything online. I order some t-shirts, but that's it. I don't, yeah. if sneakers, all my sneakers that I have yeah. are straight from sneakers if I win. <laughs> if you win, we can edit that out and beep it out. And um, that, that whole thing with the, 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 the staff member's son, all that. The, yeah, Crazy. no, that's very Oregon-like. Yeah. I had a feeling, I, I saw that kid's Instagram back in the summertime, and I was like, I was kind of, I was kind of confused on why he blurred out his face, and I was like, he must be connected to someone. Like I thought that right. back then, right? Because I was like, why is he blurring his face? Well, you when know? you're in the area, yeah. And there's a, a few other vintage Nike pages, yeah, that actually aren't really very legit. I mean, there's one that I've ordered from a few times, and I've honestly regretted it. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's tough because when we're doing like you know all these PayPal transactions and stuff, it's like. Who do you trust, you know? Who do you not trust? And it might be like somebody that's actually like posing or might be like legitimately kind of your friend mm. that ends up getting desperate and then takes your money, you know what I mean? Especially if like, well, yeah, in these times, you never know what people are going through and stuff. Just gotta play it safe. It's better safe than sorry. Just send it as a regular payment. It's a little bit higher fee is all right. it is, right? It's just a uh, higher it's a, fee. It's, I think it's 2.9%, it's like 3%. So, so it's not that big of a difference. It's only a slight amount, and, yeah. and it, it's charged a little bit more. Yeah, when like say I'll be buying a shirt from somebody, it's like twenty dollars. Then I'll send. I think it's like twenty two, uh -huh. or I'll do twenty five and like send the person a tip. Tip, tip your vendors. Yeah, man. there you go. Tip your vendors. Be nice. Yeah. You know? yeah. Don't be ripping people off. Yeah. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, that's messed up. Don't lowball either. Don't lowball. Don't rip people off. So be good. Another thing we could speak on, which kind of was brought up, was the hype of the item, <laughs> Disney tees, yeah. and the actual price that oh, like on, most geez, people too. would sell them for, and the online, you know, platforms that they sell them on. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, yeah, that, that's it's kind of like on, like it's weird. Depop, like stuff on Depop, is it's a different world on Depop Way different. than Instagram. Like on Instagram, you could have the same T-shirt on a live on Instagram go for like 600 or more <laughs> and on Depop you might be able to find it for like I mean some people will have it for like 100 200 or they might have it for 600 but yeah. you might get lucky still and find them for cheap too I guess right but so it's just weird like because there's a lot of people who are just like literally just thrifting to kind of like their I don't know maybe their business model is the like the low price more quantity, higher quantity of low priced items, bringing in smaller amounts of profit, maybe. I don't know. But that's what it's about. I mean, that's really the more sustainable. Right. That, that's the thing. I have some stuff that is probably too high priced, but that's yeah. like the stuff that I really like. <laughs> yeah, we've seen, obviously, this. we're living in the post genie yeah, era. That's, like, that's how the, in the history books, it's going to be PG and what would it be? What would be the other one be like for before? It would be BG, BG and PG. <laughs> BG and Wait, PG. Yeah, post genie, post -genie. and before genie. Oh or, yeah, God. before and after. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. BG six grand. and PG. I mean, yeah, everybody's gonna be talking about that. You know, six K or whatever for well, the, for I the think, genie. Was it six K? It was six K, I believe. It was six. I mean, but then there was that, that some band tees and hip hop tees. I get like going for that. Yeah, one. the Fujis that went the, for I think it was six point one or six point yeah, two. Yeah, it, it broke the record. Um, which I get, like Fuji's are sick. They're probably they were only together for a very limited amount of time. Yeah. Very rare T-shirt, but like Disney T-shirt, I don't know. That genie one is sick. You don't see it. I've never seen a Disney T-shirt like that in yeah. the wild. I don't know? think that like the hype's ever gonna really die on them. 
I think the prices are always going to be, it's always going to be expensive, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. uh, honestly, even your mom, like your mom, ask your mom right now, hey mom, is $80 expensive for a shirt? She's going to be like, hell yes. Oh yeah. But, like, oh my God, some of these tees, if we found them for $80, like <laughs> we would blow, you know, double, triple that easy. Yeah. Depending on what the piece is. Yeah, that's so, true. I mean, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't think the hype's really going to die, but obviously I think now we're in PG it's my opinion. I'm not sure how anybody else feels, but yeah. I think that the market's kind of coming back to a norm. Kind of flown into Pokemon. Uh, oh my <laughs> I think while there's that $2,000 Pokemon. Oh my god. I totally even forgot to mention Pokemon tees. Yeah. They're actually, yeah, they're going off. But they're, they're I mean, they're, it makes sense if you have a good one. Like Pokemon started in like 98 or something like that. I don't really know. No, I think it was earlier. Was it? I think so. So I mean, there's. I feel like the the, the time that they were making actually like tag T-shirts wasn't super. Yeah. Maybe '96, I think. Maybe. Yeah, actually, it's '95. I have some cards from '95, so it's at least you have some cards right? from '95. They're old ones. They're they're not good. Are they like they're, beat up? Yeah, they're, they're not even like actual characters. They're like energy cards and oh, stupid okay. shit like that. I bought a pack at the thrift store, <laughs> and they had a good card on top. It wasn't a good card, but it was one character. Did you sell it? Or, I don't even call it. What's one Pokemon? No, I still have them. Oh, okay. I'm just keeping them, but I have like a million energy cards. So if you're looking, if you actually fight with your Pokemon cards, you duel or battle or whatever you call it, I have all the energy things that you need. <laughs> I got Earth, I got Fire, I got all of them. I think that's kind of what just the way things will move. Did you see uh, that one on the Loveless had sell for 2K? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. The Euro, oh, that? Euro yep. Screen Stars. Yeah. In the ultra rare adult XL. Exactly. Like, yeah. and that's another thing too. Is I was gonna say is like the size for Pokemon. It's right. like I always like uh, lately I've been going to the kids section after I've gone through the thrift, yeah. and then I go through the kids section just because I feel like maybe I'll find a Pokemon tea over there. Right. Haven't yet. Right. You never know though. You always gotta check everywhere. Check <laughs> everywhere. Check the women's section. Yeah. I always keep, I keep coming oh. up in the women's section. Honestly. Yeah. I, yeah. I've done um, that a few times. I, got I haven't found any tees, but I've found like you know that's the thing too. Like I don't sell just tees. I do like essentials, jackets. I have like a pile of sweaters over there that nobody can see or needs to see. But uh, yeah, what? And the jackets all in the back, yeah. obviously. Yeah. yeah. See, and that's that's good. It's good to be well rounded. And what I'm excited for is for all of the people who are into getting into t-shirts. I feel like they all truly. I feel like everybody has the path of life or whatever or anything that they're interested in and they start with something that interests them then they'll grow and mature in it and so I had like I started originally but I was really into like um, I, I, back in high school I used to like only listen to NWA, PZE, <laughs> like West Coast hip hop, and then Bone Thugs and Harmony. And I wanted to dress like them all the time. I remember back in the day, I went to Goodwill, I got the sick uh, 49ers windbreaker. Back before nice. I ever resold Depop, this was, I graduated high school in 2010. So this is like 2006 through 2010, somewhere in that region. I was region. in 2012 when okay. I graduated, yeah. Yeah, so we're around the same time. Yeah. And like, there was, I, th I didn't get an iPhone until. I think I was out of high school. So like you didn't really have apps. Like Instagram was just starting to come out. We had MySpace and stuff like that. Were you copping SBs back then? Yeah. yeah. Me I mean, too. Like, yeah. I skated too. So like, but I never got dunks because I've always kind of hated to skate in this SB dunks just because the poofy, poofy tongue poofy dunk. is rough. And I skate transition. Poofy, poofy dunk. Yeah. <laughs> I skate transition. So I like like more like blazers. They do feel weird, honestly. Like, and they're good if like, you're doing if you're doing street. After getting these, this pair, I mean, they feel all right. But yeah, when, when people are skating street and that's what those are for, yeah. It makes sense, but I skate like pools. Peace. And stuff like that, so I like, I've always just worn Vans. And for a long time, I wore Vans with no socks. And just like, I like, <laughs> I like the thin, like the very thin board feel. Yeah, um, so, grip on it better, right? Exactly, yeah. so I, I would, so much stuff. I, I'd probably pass on Jordans and stuff in the thrift back in the day, because I just didn't know. And then, as what I was getting at was, um, then I progressed from that onto like polo and stuff like that, and I kind of was doing that for a while, selling and grilled, and then I matured in it and like learned more about like the t-shirts. I got really into t-shirts, not as crazy as a lot of people. I feel like I don't have a huge t-shirt collection. I have some good ones, some hammers. But I have a lot of good true Hammers. vintage. I feel like that's the uh, Canadian. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's, I took that from, it reminds uh, from me Drew Heifetz. It reminds me of uh, Nelk in the full set. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that for sure. That's a Canadian. Some hammers, eh? Hammers, eh, boys? <laughs> hey, boy. Hey, boys. Uh, 
That's By the, the way, shit. speaking of the t-shirt collection, are you selling that Love and Basketball? I have. I don't have it posted anywhere yet, but eventually. If, I mean, it is for sale. If anybody wants to shoot hey. me an offer, follow me on Instagram. You guys heard it here. And just throw me some offers. Oh um, my it's god. It's pretty sick. It is made in USA. It's on this Lady Hoops tag. The gear that's for the game. So it's for like women basketball, I think. Yeah. Is that graphic? Yeah, it's sick. Like that's like the, the title. Couple, yeah, the, the title, title of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. It has the heart with the basketball. Yeah. Made in USA. It's a size medium. Oh, I just knocked it down. Oh. Does it go back there easy? It looks like a big medium, okay. honestly. It is. It's yeah. huge. I would say this is more like an that's XL. That's large. That's large. Large, XL. extra large. Don't um, but it's super sick. Nice and thick. Damn, boy, he's thick! It's not single stitch or anything, but it was a. M I think this came out in like 2000s or something. You guys follow him. It's as above. So, and it's spelled C-I-U-L-L-O. Yes, it's pronounced Chulo. Chulo. It's Italian. Chulo, papi. Yes, <laughs> basically. <laughs> but yeah, uh, without further ado, I think we're just about wrapping up this this uh, podcast right here. We're, we nailed we've hit, it. We've hit every topic that I wrote down. Okay, we did I pretty wrote, good. wrote, writ. Writ, yeah. <laughs> every every topic that I wrote down, we have hit. So. I'll wrap, I'll wrap it down. Good. If you guys have any ideas for other topics in the future, we're going to be trying to do this how often? Weekly? Yeah, or we can do it weekly. We can do it we'll, weekly we'll, or bi-weekly. It's we'll, up to you. It might start off a little slower at first because just getting like editing and stuff down. Got to get a schedule to it for sure. Yeah, when right. we'll film and stuff like that. We'll work out the kinks. Um, but yeah. definitely make sure and follow us on all our socials. All those links will be in the description. Comment down in the video. Um, let us know what you guys want to see for the next one. Yeah, um, if you guys have any like inside scoops, if you yeah. guys have mm. any like you guys know of any drama that's going on, like you guys can hit me up. So I'm at vintage underscore drip junkie. He's at as above so chulo. Hit us up, you guys. Like if you guys know of anything crazy that went down, if you guys got took, if you yeah. got scammed before, I mean comment below, let us know. We'll do the inside scoop. Let us know your trials and tribulations. We want to hear it all from you guys. And maybe in the future. Just hear me out. Way future. We're going miles to catch a predator. Vintage scammer edition. Oh shit! They come in with the fake. They come in with the fake That's a good idea. And then the dude walks out, and he's just like, "So why are you here? Why don't you take a seat? Why do you have that T-shirt?" That's a great idea. Why is it fake? You know, and he, why just, is it he fake? just puts him on the. You know, what's that dude's name that does that? That's classic. That would be good. I want to like. All ah, right, you man. guys. Peace out. Yeah, peace out. Links are in the description too. So everybody, take care. Be safe, and may the thrift gods bless you all. Peace. Peace out.